My name is Lori Lightson. I am president of the Chicago Police Board and I'm calling the meeting of the board. Board members Bilate and Simpson are unable to attend this meeting in person and wish to attend via video audio. Is there a motion to make the meeting? Second? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? The motion is passed. Um, at this time, I'd like to welcome Acting Superintendent John Escalante um, to his first police report. Welcome. Welcome. Dr. Nathan, you have remarks? Thank you. Sure, I'll stand for those in the back. Just briefly, I want to introduce myself. My name is John Escalante. I am the interim superintendent of the Chicago Police Department, and I will be filling in as the interim superintendent until a new superintendent is named. During that time, I intend to do what I can to keep this department moving forward, and specifically tonight, to listen to your concerns and make sure that they're addressed. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Acting Superintendent um, Also uh, new to uh, police board meetings tonight is the new um, chief of the Independent Police Review Authority, Sharon Farley. Um, Farley, would you like to make a few comments? As well, good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Sharon Fairley, and I'm uh, the new acting chief administrator of Bibro. I'm honored and humbled to be in this position at this time with the challenges that this organization faces. I promise you all that my goal in this role will be to pursue integrity and transparency in the work that Bibro does. And that I hope at the end of the day, if I achieve that goal, that you will all feel, feel confident that you can trust the quality of the investigation that's undertaken on behalf of that agency. So thank you. The first item of business is approval of the minutes of the board public meeting on November 19, 2015. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes. Our next regular public meeting will be on Thursday, January 21st, 2016, at 7.30 p.m. here at Chicago Public Safety Headquarters. At this time, I ask for a motion to close a series of events and sessions for the purposes of considering personal matters and litigation authorized by Section 2C1, 3, 4, and 11 of the Illinois Open Meetings Act. Is there such a motion? All those in favor? Any opposed? motion passes. The schedule of this police board's regular public meetings for 2016 is in the blue book, made available at tonight's meeting and will be posted on the board's website. A report of disciplinary actions taken by the board during the previous month has been made available um, at this evening's meeting. This report and the board's written findings and decisions are posted on the board's website. The police board is authorized by the Open Meetings Act to consider in a closed meeting, several disciplinary cases, the board will now take final action on these cases. Regarding case number 15 PB 2881, is there a motion to find police officer Sheree Holland guilty of insubordination and making false statements and to suspend her from the Chicago Police Department for two years? All in favor? Uh, any opposed? All those in favor of the motion are Foreman, Bellate, Edie, Fry, and Simpson, and all opposed are Lightfoot, Conlon, Sweeney, and Valenzuela. Is there a motion to adopt the written findings and decision and consent that has been reviewed by all board members who participated in the case? Is there a second? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes by unanimous. Regarding case number 15 PB 2885, is there a motion to find police officer Enrique Gonzalez guilty of administering polygraphs without a valid license and making a false report and to discharge him from the Chicago Police Department? So moved, sir. All in favor? Uh, May I have your hands? Uh, Any opposed? Uh, Voting in favor are board members Foreman, Galate, Conlon, Edie, Fry, Simpson, Sweeney, Valenzuelas, and myself. The motion passes. Is there a motion to adopt the written findings and decisions that has been reviewed by all board members who participate in the case? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes by unanimous vote. 
Regarding case number 15, PV 2888, is there a motion to find police officer Tisha Owens guilty of disorderly conduct and intoxication while off duty and to discharge her from the Chicago Police Department? All in favor may have show of hands. Any opposed? Voting in favor are board members Foreman, Balate, Conlon, Edie, Fye, Simpson, Smooney, Valenzuela, and myself. And the motion to pass it. Is there a motion to adopt the written findings and decision that has been reviewed by all board members who participated in the case? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes by unanimous vote. The board's decisions in all cases in which we took final action this evening will be entered as of today's date and will be issued to the parties. A copy of the written decisions will be posted on the board's website within 10 business days pursuant to the Municipal Code of Chicago. <coughs> General orders and other directives issued by the superintendent of police during the previous months <coughs> are listed in the blue books and are available on the police department's website. There are a couple of additional issues that I want to call to the public's attention. Um, as you're aware, the police board has started the process of selection of a new police superintendent. We will be um, announcing that process formally tomorrow uh, with the issuance of an application that will be available for interested parties to use in applying for the job um, and specific steps uh, related to what our process will do. And all that information will be available to the public. Uh, tomorrow. I would say that we are clearly mindful of the fact uh, that we need to move with an appropriate speed uh, to make sure that we provide three qualified members, uh, three qualified uh, candidates uh, to the mayor for purposes of selection. As a part of our process, we have heard from a number of voices and we expect and hope that we will continue to hear from those voices uh, as we engage in this process and we will be uh, holding public hearings as a police board body for the purpose of hearing specifically from the public both about the qualities that you believe the next superintendent should have as well as any specific uh, policies or issues that you believe that we should take into consideration as we interview candidates for this very important position. But we'll have more on that uh, for you tomorrow. One other issue that I want to uh, speak about before we hear from uh, individuals who have signed up to speak tonight, uh, regards the case of Dante Sur. That's clearly been a case that a number of you have spoken about for quite some time um, at each of the police board meetings, as well as in other circumstances. As you're aware, I believe, from the media, um, the superintendent concurred with the recommendation of IPRA uh, to terminate Dante Sur. Formal charges have been filed recently uh, with the police board and we have started our process. There will be an initial status in the, in the matter later this month, and I want to assure the public that the process by which uh, the police board reaches its ultimate decision with respect to the charges with Dante Servant, like in any case, will be transparent and will be public. And specifically, the hearing, the evidentiary hearing that will take place in the matter will be open to the public. There will be an advance notice so that those members who are interested in coming to that hearing will be uh, notified and able to participate. Um, and in light of all of our decisions uh, with, with respect to disciplinary cases, our final decision will both be in writing and that decision will be posted and available uh, to members of, of the public. If you have specific questions or want to be informed about that case or any other case um, as they proceed, please feel free to talk to and contact uh, the police board offices. One last thing that I want to, to say before we open this up for uh, public questions. Obviously, in this city, we are uh, faced with a remarkable challenge, but also, in my view, a remarkable opportunity. The events of the last two weeks, which many of you have participated in, in giving voice to your concerns, your comments, your complaints about policing, about the way in which the police engage in the public have been really a part of, I think, an historic opportunity uh, for us to move the department and the city in a very different and necessary direction. I want you to know on behalf of the police board, we have heard you. 
We have heard you at our meetings. We have heard and seen you in the streets. We have heard and listened to you as you have corresponded with us individually and collectively. And you will continue to listen. I think that's important for you all to know. Um, and we wanted to share that with you uh, before we open up uh, our meeting to the public portion of the process. But I can assure you, we are listening. We do hear you. We take your thoughts and concerns uh, into consideration. And we are mindful of the fact that all of us are here to serve you, members of the public. Now, at this time, I will call upon those members of the public who signed up in advance to speak. When your name is called, please step up to the microphone. And as always, we ask you to limit your comments to two minutes. Or two minutes. There are a number of people who have signed up to speak tonight. And again, I encourage you, as I have in past you, to be mindful of that fact, be respectful of the people who will be coming after you, um, so that all people who have signed up in advance have an opportunity to speak. The first person on our list is Megan Vaughn Grand Homer. Megan Homer, are you here? Ms. Homer?
you would know it's something you're going to have to figure out how to live with for the rest of your life. Some of the most traumatic losses are those that happen when there's a death of a child or sibling. And I'm here to tell you, you have no right to inflict further violence on these families by not doing those things.
In doing so, in doing so, you all have concealed the recklessness, conduct, police conduct that has came across your desk. Reckless conduct that has resulted in mass incarceration, in the loss of life, and that in and, and the trust that has been the, the trust has been shattered of these brutal people that you see here. And as we aim to restore the dignity and safety of our communities, we ask and demand that you all step down because the trust before we even had a chance to address it. And what you see here today is a body of professionals, a body of parents, family, friends, and students who have sacrificed their livelihoods to do the jobs that we have paid you all to do. Go! Get your pink slips! Go! Fire. 
Dante Serba now. It hasn't the uh, IPRA's process taken long enough? Yes. Yes. But Juan McDonald, on the video, we saw him walk away from the cops. Has Van Dyke been fired? No. Do it now. What's the problem? Have those who were complicit in hiding the truth been charged, including nope. Emmanuel and Albert right. and the other cops on the scene? Uh -huh. No. What's the problem? This is 400 days long enough. Yeah. 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 run away from the cops into the park. I watched it with my coworkers in the lunchroom at, at Walmart where I work. They were riveted to the TV. The breaks were longer that day than any other day that week. We saw the video countless times that day. We saw it in slow motion. We saw blow-ups of it. Did we see a gun in this video? No! 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 no charges were being made against the cops who killed him because he could have been fired at the cops because he could have been running towards cops parked in a car on the other side of the park. But it's kept it justified on that basis because someone could possibly be a threat in the future. No, those cops need to be charged and prosecuted. Yes. Yeah. 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 of justice, you know that, Laura. This video of Philip Coleman was held for three years. Mm. The day it was released, the parents watched it on TV news. They hadn't been told that it was been released. Oh they watched and we watched as their son was attacked in a jail cell right. by six cops. Yeah, the 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 Let us speak. Was he a friend for the cops in jail? No. Should he have even been there in the first place? Yeah, time is up. Let us speak. Let us speak. The U.S. has the largest apparatus in the world. Ma'am, the time is up. Let us speak, Laura. Let us speak. Let us speak. Get your popo away from her.
organizations that have been organizing to speak before you tell the truth to the public. Black Youth Project 100, We Charity Genocide, Black Lives Matter, Chicago Alliance Against Racist Political Oppression, mobilize people to come out and see that every single month the crowd gets bigger. Okay. Okay. reflect something bigger than the issue of police brutality in Chicago. There's something afoot in the country. The Chicago Police Board better listen to it because it reflects itself not only in this specific fight, but in other fights around the country against racist abuse, against the mistreatment of African Americans, and a new move in the country in which we will not tolerate this anymore. Most, the most proud of the convention, the case of Laquan McDonald, the case of Key Boyd, the case of Ronald Johnson. But you've got to take up the case of Cedric Chapman. You've got to take that up. Chapman. It's got to be taken up and reopened. There's a case of Dakota Bright. on the killing of her son. The city has refused to release the autopsy yes. report. Don't you have the right to see what was done to the kid? Yes. 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 There's a case, two related cases. Liz Barber yes. and Darius Pinex, yes. who were both killed by the same officer, yes. who was drunk the night he killed Flint Farmer. They shot him execution style the same way Van Dyke shot McDonald's. You all know that um, officers are trained to discharge their weapons until the suspect, so-called suspect, stops. That's how they're trained. Not trained, they're trained to shoot and to keep shooting until they think that the so-called threat has been eliminated. That means they empty their gun on almost every occasion. And that's what happened in the case of Flint Farmer. No. This boy should fire Serban now. He should fire Van Dyke now. He should fire all the cops who are on the scene and who are the
I was prevented from speaking, and my, my rights uh, to this open meeting were violated. Because the same night of the meeting, two police officers were being charged and in the news uh, for child pornography. And they did not mention it. And I told them this was here. Uh, I would like to speak with you about this initiative. It's one that we run for Halloween to protect our elders. It creates jobs, it builds revenue, and it allows us to participate in the public safety process. I was the originator of the No Gun decal. It started in the village. I'm also the creator of the Safe Passage program that you see throughout the city that everybody is taking the place for, that we have not yet uh, been reimbursed for. So the, the, the corruption and the cover-up, it started with Eric Holder coming and covering up for Arlene Duncan and, and, and Mary Daly around here in our neighborhood. You know, so if we want to go back, let, let, let's go back and think of it, because I have 100 youth that have been pushed to the streets uh, uh, to eat uh, this. And I want you to see it here first, because you don't see it anywhere. And what this is, is this modern day stranger danger program. Because I couldn't come to the meeting last month. Uh, they try to lock them up. Because these are the list of sexual predators in my community. And I pray that you go home and pull your list and you know who you're living around and who's jeopardizing your family. And these are the list of child murderers. There's a list of big people in your community that are capable of taking the lives of your children. And you know it, they know it. So I'm asking you to call the mayor and we're gonna uh, push up on the new superintendent. And we want to see this decal uh, and, and a protective uh, uh, mechanism for our children. I filed a four-year and I told her, I have not heard from you. This information is going to come to you issue a child protection. I uh, should have been readily available and I should have received it in, in five days. When we go on to look, okay, at your post, you posted only 2013 and 15 for years. We got a right to see and know what's going on today. My name is Queen Fitzgerald of Albany, Texas Village. All the people have been recognized. Is there a motion to All in favor? Any opposed? The motion passes to be adjourned.